Hi guys, this is JB from Minot, and these are my pickups for the month of September. I hope you have a good Yom Kippur. Uh, even though I'm not Jewish, I don't even know what Yom Kippur is, but I hear it's a pretty big deal. So, Anyway, my first pickup is a Game Boy Color game. Donald Duck going quackers. He's basically trying to rescue his girlfriend from different parts of time. But uh, his buddy, his time machine got broken and parts sent through different areas. And Donald has to go through these platformers and find these parts. That's how you get through each level. It's kind of like Klonoa in that way. I uh, haven't played it very far yet, but uh, like all Game Boy Color platformers, most of them, some of them don't run so smoothly as others. Some are better than others. This one's from Ubisoft and Disney. So there's that. Okay, now for some uh, Nintendo Switch games. Jeez, I think I already have almost 20 of these things. But uh, I love the Nintendo Switch. I think it's a very, very good system, and I can't wait for the speed of games coming out uh, this year Super Mario Odyssey and Skyrim and all kinds of wild stuff Fire Emblem Warriors eh, I'm not so I'm not so uh, excited about ironically there's no Dynasty Warriors out for it yet which is weird anyway here we go Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 I normally don't care for the fighting games but uh, the, these game, this game got uh, enough to give it a sequel, so we'll go from there. I like Dragon Ball. It can get kind of convoluted at times, but we'll see. Okay, this is a port from the Wii U game. Whoops. <laughs> Pokin Tournament DX. And they're doing that with a lot of games from the Wii U. Pretty soon, hell, you won't need to own a Wii U. They'll just port everything to the Switch. I'd love to see a bunch of stuff ported to the Switch from the GameCube. And maybe a Super NES type collection. Not that stupid mini Super NES that everybody's buying up in bulk and selling and scalping and stuff like that. Piss on those people. I hate that shit. But anyway. The next game. It's kind of like uh, Warcraft. Only it's Lego. Lego Worlds. And this is already ported. This is a port from the PS4 and the Xbox One. But this one's got a couple of the DLC that uh, you could get off of it. It's already on the disc. So there's that. Now for some 3DS games. There's a couple of them. The first one, they say, is the best Pokemon game since Pokemon. I disagree. That would be, to me, Shin Megami Tensei Persona. Those games are basically like Pokemon, only for more mature audiences. This one is uh, Monster Hunter Stories. Now, Monster Hunter, you usually fight the monsters in uh, in real time, but in this one, they're RPG-type battles. They're paper, scissor, rock-type battles. And uh, you're basically going around collecting eggs so you can raise more monsters, kind of an army of your own, like Pokemon. And it's straight from Nintendo. The colors are very bright, and... Uh, you got a bunch of different side missions, which is cool. Uh, it's not a bad game so far. I haven't played it very far. I think I got the first boss. But other than that, it's a it's pretty good so far. But right now, my obsession is on this game, Metroid Seamus Returns. It's basically a remaster and a remake of uh, Metroid 2, The Return of Seamus for the Game Boy, the original Game Boy which is probably one of my favorite Game Boy games. I love the Metroid series. I love looking around and exploring. Uh, my problem with some of this, one of my problems is, first of all, some of the bad guys are a little harder to kill than they should be after so many hours. And it's a long game. There's eight areas. And I've only gotten through four. But uh, and I'm going to get through them all because I love this game. I, you know, I love it and I hate it at the same time. To aim a missile, you have to literally use two three fingers. It just seems like a lot of just functions you gotta use so many fingers to do and you gotta do it fast at times and that's what really, I almost quit it the other night because I was being chased by this thing and you have to beat it, but you gotta shoot missiles and all kinds of stuff it's also got like a bunch of different other uh, functions I mean, like uh, scan pulse, lightning armor for protection and uh, stuff like that 
it's, it's got it's just fun trying to get all the abilities and uh, it's a beautiful game it looks really 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 beautiful I would love to see uh, a brand new spanking new Metroid game not just Metroid Prime but uh, a regular classic Metroidvania type games and uh, but uh, I got love hate I'm addicted to this game but at the same time I kinda hate it in some parts basically there's no real boss battle really you're just trying to go around finding different Metroids in this uh, planet and trying to destroy them all but uh, if you like Metroid I think you'll love this okay now for some uh, Vita games and I'll tell you September there was a ass load of PS Vita games released Uta Ware Rumono Mask of Truth this is a sequel to the last Uta Ware Rumono game and it's from Atlas they say the last one was more talky than action but this one they're really emphasizing on the action in the back of the box it's got a little pillowcase which I'm not interested in because you know I'm not a pervert but uh there's that and uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, let's see for the next one Mary Skelter Nightmares this is basically a dungeon crawler I believe from the same people who did uh, Hyperdimension Neptunia those kind of things uh, this one looks to be a little bit more complex Dan Gan Ronpa Volume 3, Killing Harmony. Normally, I don't like games that are real, that are more visual novel. This one is, these, this series is pretty good, though, because you do a lot of exploring, and uh, you have to do a lot of deductive reasoning, and stuff like that. It's, it's, these aren't bad games. I haven't played this yet. Uh, I've played some of the others, and uh, they're really fun games. It just, I just wish there weren't so much talk. Or I wish the talk were more succinct. Some of these Japanese writers, they think they're Shakespeare or something. And it just, it kind of gets old. But, we'll see. Okay, this is the only Vita game I've actually played this month. Because uh, there's so many. Uh, and it'll probably be a while before I play others. Because it's just, they're just coming out in droves now. Toward the end of the year. Uh, pretty soon, you're probably only going to be able to get get them on Amazon.com or Play Asia or Limited Run Games or whatnot. So, Drive Girls. This is a combination action RPG racing game where the girls turn into racing cars and uh, some of the battles you race and battle with other players. But uh, it's a beautiful game, beautiful looking RPG. Haven't quite got the hang of the uh, driving portion yet. I still haven't beaten the first race to progress through the game. But I'll get to it. I got a feeling that, you know, I don't have no... Usually with racing games, the reason I really don't like racing games all that much is because your computer opponent never seems to make a mistake. Whereas, you can make a mistake. But, and if you make a mistake, it can put you to the back of the line. You know, in last place when you're in first place. But, this one, it, it's, it seems, the racing seems kind of smooth and fun. I just got to figure out what I got to do next. Okay, now, this is the first Limited Run game where I got it from Limited Run Games. I didn't have to go to Amazon.com to buy it from a scalper. I got this on the Friday they uh, they put it out. It's an RPG, As Divine Hearts. Now, I like Limited Run games, but I'll tell you what. Uh, I don't like your shipping system. They were supposed to ship this 1 to 10 days from the order which is fine depending on how much staff you have but uh, I saw a tweet that seemed to indicate that because they were also releasing Ease Original for the uh, Vita and it seemed like I got the vibe that they were going to wait until they were going to sell Ease Origin before they actually shipped this out that kind of bothered me a little bit uh, when you say 1 to 10 days, that means you're going to try to get it out before the 10th day. That's to cover yourself. It doesn't mean wait until the actual 10th day to ship it. Other than that, I like uh, limited run games. I like what they do. You know what I like to see? A game where you can have 
a Vita game custom made. You pay a little bit extra, and they get permission from the companies to do it. They get they give them the rights, or whatever, however that business section works. And you say, okay, I want this game. Okay, we'll put it on a disc, put it in a package, and we'll send it to you. That's what I would love to see, something like that. That would be cool. But uh, I don't know how much they would sell us. But uh, limited run games, they pretty much sell out everything they publish because they make it limited run, which is kind of smart, but kind of a pain in the ass for us collectors. Anyway, there's As Divine Hearts. Last but not least is the game. Buying this game opened my eyes to how shitty the GameStop Corporation is. Now, I like GameStop. I like their local, the local guys that I get my games from. They are outstanding. Your local merchants, your local GameStop guys, the ones at the store, the foot soldiers, they are fantastic. They are awesome. But your corporate entities suck. Your customer service at the corporate level sucks. Okay, this was Yeez. Eight, Lacrimosa of Dana. I love the Yeez games, but I haven't played this one yet. Uh, Red, Radical Reggie loves this game from what I've seen on his videos. But anyhow... It was a Wednesday, or it was a Tuesday, and this was supposed to come out, and it wasn't there yet. So, you know, it's a Japanese game. Sometimes those games take a day or two, and maybe Hurricane Harvey and Irma kind of affect the delivery. That's fine. But, uh, so, you know, the manager of my GameStop store, she said, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send an email to corporate, find out what's going on. Well, a couple of days later, it still hasn't shown up, and the corporate hasn't contacted the manager. They didn't care enough to contact her to find out what was going on. So, you know, I got the number to corporate. I got the email. I, uh... I sent the email. And all the email would say was, Sorry, we have to refer you to your local store. Well, yeah, if my local store could help me, or if you would cooperate with them... I wouldn't have to be emailing you. What is your purpose? And this went back and forth. Finally, I called corporate. Big mistake. It took 40 minutes to get a hold of somebody. And they just kept saying the same thing. Sorry, you have to talk to the local store to find out what's going on. I'm thinking, what the hell is your job? Is it your literally your job to just sit there, pick up a phone, and say, talk to the local store? Seriously, why do you even have a phone number for anybody to call? What is the purpose? That is stupid. You know, GameStop is probably the worst company that does not deserve its success. They bought out. We need some competition. You know, I, I can't speak for other nations or other countries, but GameStop needs some, some damn stiff competition in this, uh, in this country. And... Uh, Anyway, my dis my uh, store manager finally called the district manager, and a few days later they had it in. Okay, and then they told me, well, it should have been in last Wednesday. So, and but the good news is, I got 25% off of this. So it's good for that. But I, like I said, I love my local GameStop. I want to keep shopping there, but the corporation just pissed me off so bad. And if I could figure out a nice, decent, quick way to get all of my games, I wouldn't go there anymore. Plus, they sell games that are off the wall that Walmart and Target and all those other cats won't sell. Anyway, that's a rant. I'm glad to get that off my chest. I try not to use file language, but sometimes it doesn't work. Anywho, those are my pickups for the month of uh, September. I hope you all have a Happy Yom Kippur. I hope you all have a happy fall. Hey, kids. <laughs> Go back to school. Enjoy your nine months. Anyway, God bless. Bye-bye.